Okay, I see your, your pedal is moving down here. So when you press on that, it would take it, what, four or five seconds to come up? Okay, so if we ever have a power hour, power, power outage, we're okay. So okay, uh, you won't see anything, but you can play the organ. <laughs> right. So that's two, three. Okay, four bellows, and those foot-operated bellows—they they'll operate the whole organ. Yeah, I mean they they're usually operated by a electric blower, but okay. Very good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now I see what you're you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Each okay, and they extend up to each one of the bellows. Okay. Well, this may be a little hard to see, but I'm sitting in the same position that I was a few days ago where I showed you all of these the little pieces of wood that stick out from the back of the console. That long tracker that we looked at yesterday is now installed, and I'll try to show you. See where it's connected there? And it will go all the way into the top of the instrument to that topmost yeah. wind chest. It's going to be hard to see, I know. It looks like all three layers of those trackers, yeah, have been installed. One, two, three, yeah. So now we have to go inside the instrument to find out what's going on. All the big pieces are installed. This is just beautiful. Now tell me again what those things are called, the tree? Uh, stop trees. Oh, stop tree. Okay. okay. control which sets of pipes play. And those are the, and they connect to the side of the wind chest. Right, oh. yeah, they, they move the slider back and forth. Okay. Now, explain, what is the refrigerator? <laughs> it's the preset, uh, the computer that contains all the memory to run the presets and combination system for the stop action of the organ. So that when you push buttons under the keys, you can have different sets of stops come on. Okay. What's in the back of that panel you just swung out? This is where it gets wired. Ah, uh, okay. All of this gets covered. There are wires that go on all of these pins. Cables come up through here and the same in here. Excellent. Looks like a big old phone machine. Yeah, just about. Cool. <laughs> all right. Every home should have one. Right. All right. No moving parts, however. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, Bruce, thank you. Sure. Well, as you can see, the... Uh, front panels on either side of the console have been installed. And let me show you where the end of those trackers, or where the trackers terminate, in that top wind chest. There they are, right there in the middle of the screen. And that triangular piece is what then transmits to the tracker, again, across the little piece and up directly into the wind chest. Okay, I'm on the uh, actually second floor where the choir rehearsal hall used to be. These are the stairs that lead up to the choir loft. What is now the choir loft and then behind this door, low clearance. This is actually underneath the instrument. It has its own air conditioning system because it has to be maintained at a specific temperature so that it stays in tune and so the, you know, I'm sure so that the wood is preserved and then also under here will be the main blower unit for the instrument itself. 
And as we showed you earlier, today they are those little step bellows, you know, the four layers of them. So if we ever run out of power, we can still play the organ. Yay!